uh, hit a couple of places, and the last two places we hit was a bust. So we're headed back up to where we know we can find something good, some old money or foreign coins, things like that. These places produce pretty well, especially for Jason. He's killing me. Uh, 14, 15, 16 silvers, I think, this year. So this year so far. So yeah, he's doing really good. The only bad thing about today, I mean, it's warm. It's February 20th. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today. It's probably about 75, 76. But the bugs, man, the bugs are terrible. I want these little black things flying around over there. They like eat you up. I'll show you my secret weapon to keep them off of you here in just a minute. Okay, we're back out at another place and this is my secret weapon for bugs it's called no mosquitoes it is all natural it's got citronella lemongrass oil cedar oil water coconut oil a little bit of alcohol you can smear this stuff all over your face your neck your ears and that's what I do and they stay away trust me that stuff works that is the best thing spray some on your hat and you're good to go all right let's go find some goodies Nifo. Good though. Like a belt buckle. A small belt. Belt nonetheless. Ringing up pretty good. Brass, 80. Okay, we'll take it. There's something else down here though. Ah, oh, still something in the hole. Second piece that was in there, a nail. So we got a buckle and a nail in this hole, and there's still something down there. It'll really be nice. To, oh, I see a halo in the ground, like rust. No, that's it. 
All right, next hole. Bottle caps are real bad about that. These things just suck. I've got a pouch full. All right, next hole. All right, got another good signal here. Let's see what we got. Take a look here. Always gonna be something. Oh, there it is. Good old screw cap. You know, have a coke and a smile. Oh yeah, I've got a couple out here. All right, let's take a look at this one. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's ground. That's the way we like it. Do your thing. My freaking battery died. I hope I got all that. Now we're out here at the McKenzie United Methodist Church, and they don't mind one bit if we have at it out here in this lot. Nice lot, old church. Jason's off on your left there checking out a signal. And I'm going to go hook back up over here with my equipment and go back to work. Well, Alan's got his holler. I'll tell you what, these things right here are kill you. Piece of spring, a staple, two pieces of a nail, and a, a nut. That's crazy. <laughs> Four inches. Uh, of course, you got to remember now. It's just oh, look at that! Just 
All right, look at that. See that depression? It's roughly about four inches. And right there it is, a penny. It's a memorial penny, but it's a penny. Pretty toasty. 1980. Alright, go 80s. Best music. MTV. Alright, pretty good signal here. I have dug so many bottle caps out here. I'm sick and tired of seeing these things. So let's hope we got something good here. About an 82. Could be, uh, that could be a penny, which I've got plenty of those too. Or it could be a dime. Or it could be a piece of copper pipe. Which is exactly what it is. We're getting copper pipe. Alright. Alright, I wasn't going to film this dig, but down here at 8 inches, you're not going to believe this. An Alabama sales tax token. Very toasty. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Unreal. These things are made out of aluminum. It's really light. That's what it is, though. Alright, update. After a little bit of brush work, this is actually a luxury tax token. I've never seen one of those. But after I brushed it off real good, you can see luxury tax token on it. There's probably a hole in the middle that's corroded together, but there's another hole right here that is corroded through. The back is completely wasted. That's a shame, but that's a good find. Luxury tax token in the bottom of that hole, about 8 inches down. Ringing up as an 80 on the AT Pro. But that's pretty cool. I'll take it. About 8 inches down, pulled up a 1930 wheat scent. That's what it looks like, 30. It might be a 38, but I think it's a 30. It was way down there. The depth of the pinpointer is 10, well, is uh, 8 inches. And it was every bit at the bottom of that 8 inch hole, so there you go. Alright, Jason summons. What do we got? Oh. Look at that. Oh, a ring. Oh, nice. No stone, though. Well, I'm looking for. It's going to be a real diamond. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be gold or not. Got some markings on it, I just can't tell what it is. Let me go get the brush. Alright, after the water treatment, you won't believe this crap. 18K. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. 18K. So the diamonds... Diamonds are gone, but the ring says 18K. Awesome. And there's a maker's mark inside. That's pretty. It was ringing up as 87? Yeah. I wonder if it's, wonder if it's uh, plated. Yours. Yours is eighty-two, eighty-five, eighty-two, eighty-six, eighty-four. Wow! Nice. Wow! You jackhead! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! It happened today. We said we having a good day. Now yours just got even better. Unreal. Can you friggin' believe it? 18k nice that is just crazy well that makes the day i think we just better call it <laughs> we just better call it a day that is nice but the one looks messed up on the uh thing you notice that it's, it's 18 it's got to be it's stamped that's a deep stamp too mm-hmm or it had ten stones in it, nine small ones and uh, one large one, and the stones are all gone. So, but the band is as heavy too. Yeah. I bet it weighs an ounce. That's nice. 
good on you. All right, this is an update. I did a little research on this ring. It is gold, but it's heavy gold electroplate. You can see right there is the mark. 18 karat HGE. Heavy gold electroplate. So it's not solid gold, but it got some gold on it. That's a good one. All I can say is, what a day. We had a good day today, and we hit a few places. If you were a bust, let's do a wrap up here real quick. Here's my haul for the day. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 memorial pennies. One wheat. wheat. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Five dimes. A crusty zinc. Dollar twenty-five and quarters. This is my cool find of the day. A luxury tax token. You can still see some of the lettering on it. It's got a one and then luxury tax. It's pretty corroded, pretty eat up. There was a hole in the middle at one time. There, there's a hole on there the other side. The back side is just wasted. So, will be no way to get uh, salvage that very much. But uh, that's a cool find for the day. Uh, what else we got? Uh, oh yeah, some cool things. We got a buckle. A two ounce fishing weight. Looks like a snap off someone's, a couple of snaps off someone's pants. Uh, there's, there's a good one. There's like a jeans, a rivet off a jean. A bullet, or what's left of a bullet. A toy gun we found at the old spooky house. I found all these pieces in the same hole. There's a trigger guard for the other side. You see there, it's pretty crusty, but it looks cool. I don't know, no telling what kid played with that, but uh, that's what we got today, of course. The usual garbage, pull tabs, bottle tops, nails, Budweiser can, lots of trash. I mean, we, that's, that's, not, that's not all of it, but that's some of it. We always pick up a lot of trash. Now, let's move on over to Jason's Hall. Look at this guy. Four stacks of pennies, a watch. And it's still running. Look. Timex. It's, that's not the actual time, by the way, but that's uh, it's running. Piece of a pocket knife. Some kind of steel ring. It's like a little charm. Has a stud on the back like it was sewed onto something, so it might have been something like a rhinestone. I don't have no idea what that is. Now, this is cool. This is a band uniform button. Very nice. You can see the back of it. It's got uh, metal pins on the back where I guess it was, it must be one of those you pin on your hat or a collar or a cummerbund or something like that. Anyway, that's cool. And the find of the day, an 18 karat gold heavy electroplated ring. And 10 holes for stones. No stones in it. Research says they did not put diamonds in these. They put rubies and Sapphire. sapphires, things like that in it. But you can clearly see the marking on the inside right there. It's nice. That's a nice find today. And that was right as we're, right as we was wrapping everything up. Of course, the dimes, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 dimes, $2 and quarters, 3 wheats. All in all, a really cool day, don't you think? Pretty good. All right. We'll see you next time.